It's dangerous to go alone, so take this! And welcome to this week's Nerd Word. As the gold and purple banners dropped from the sky, we were reminded that every nerd is for him or herself. This week's Nerd War was all about nerdy Ocart. To quote Penny Arcade, Hell yeah, ladies! I bring them blue sparks! The trash talking in this episode was insane! It's as if every five minutes somebody's laying the smack down on somebody else, and I'm digging it. It's a good thing that all these nerds are better at driving in a competition than I was. Well, everybody except for maybe Brian. <laughs> I was quite impressed with Zach's original progress. He was in first place for quite some time until he dropped to second, and then third, and then fourth, beating only Brian. I guess it's a little embarrassing for Brian to lose to somebody who doesn't have a driver's license, but hey... I guess hobbits just walk everywhere. <laughs> Kayla kind of kicked everybody's butt in racing, which resulted in our dynamic duo of Zack and Jack being sent off to battle each other in a game of angry nerds. I've got to say, as far as wall building strategy goes, Jack far outdid Zack. It's a wonder that Jack wasn't able to topple the entire thing down by knocking out one of the support pillars. That said, Jack still sent Zack home, which leaves us saying goodbye to Zack. Zack just a little bundle full of luck, Rochambeau, genius do the other nerds suck. Always the warrior to the very end, loyal to Sylvanas forsaken. Thwarting more extermination attempts than Grigory Rasputin. Structure built unreliant on the physics of Isaac Newton. Now we say goodbye to our seventh nerd, Zack Frost, mourn in his hand as he runs the go-pack. Where there were five, only four now cling for. Now we know that Zack will not be king. Goodbye, Zack. This week's question comes from Twitter user JoeyRichter2MA, who asks, If you were able to create your own nerd war for the current contestants of King of the Nerds, what would it be? Good question, Joey. I'd make a nerd war that was more academia-themed, where each team was given a high-level science concept, uh, something like string theory, that they were then told to create a lecture that was given to six-year-olds. And then the six-year-olds would then determine the winner by being tested on the subject. As Albert Einstein says, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. Keep the questions coming to Twitter account Fatal Error with a three, and I'll pick the best one and answer it in next week's final nerd word. This is Brandon signing off. Stay classy, Internet.